you so much for being with us today. Um, I would first like to start with an overview of Concordia Private Care. Are you able to tell us about the services that your agency offers? Private care provides care to assist people to stay in their homes. So we do everything from home support, which is light housekeeping, dusting, tidying the house, vacuuming, things of that nature, even some meal prep. What kind of personal care do you provide? And are there any additional services that you offer that the general public may not know about? Anything from helping someone get out of bed to helping them get a shower, um, basic personal care that you would do on a daily basis if you were able to do it on your own. We also provide escort service, which basically means we have the ability to help people get to and from doctor's appointments. Um, we help with grocery shopping if, if the consumer requests that. Um, we have companion visits. So if somebody wants a companion, they can come in and uh, sit with that person. Due to the challenges now presented by the COVID-19 emergency, have you had a noticeable shift in consumers' care plans? For example, are you maybe um, seeing a, a lack of you know, personal care, more grocery shopping? Um, what, what are you seeing? We, we see um, a downswing in, uh, in housekeeping. We do see a downswing in that. Uh, fortunately for, for the residents, Concordia has formulated a way to provide shopping for a lot of the residents. We still do that, but not as much um, on the Concordia campus. Now out in the community, that has increased. People aren't going out. People are quite honestly afraid to go out. So our aides have been providing more of those services. Yeah, I, um, I know that your team also uh, staffs RNs and LPNs in addition to personal care aides. How has this affected your nursing visits? We're seeing an increase in requests for nurse visits because people are, have concerns about going out of their home. So our nurses can go in and do a nurse visit within the home. They can do lab draws, they can check the blood pressure, they can do all of those different things right from the comfort of your own living room. Um, how your employees are being screened prior to going into a consumer's home. I know it must be difficult with the mobile workforce, um, but still doable. So if you could tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing. Actually, we've instructed our aides to do a couple of different things. Number one, if they work in a Concordia facility, whether that be personal care, independent living, um, skilled nursing at any capacity, we're requiring them to go through any process that a visitor would go through, such as temperature taking, answering questions, such as if they've had contact with anyone that's been out of the country, are they running a fever, are they showing signs of COVID-19, um, are they themselves, uh, have they been out of the country on a cruise, do they have anything like that? So we're screening in the facilities. If they're out in the field, we've also utilized that so that they call in, they have their own thermometers now, they call in their temperature every day right before their first visit. Um, we've also uh, worked with informatics and we've adopted as a part of the care plan that they call in every day. Their very first visit they call into, they're required to answer if they have shortness of breath, cough, or a fever of 100.0 or higher. I know that globally Concordia has significantly increased their staff education. Can you tell us a little bit about what Concordia Private Care is doing, um, any additional training, and are you doing this in-house or are you working with outside state resources like PAHA, for example, who um, PAHA stands for the Pennsylvania Home Care Association and uh, I know they've provided excellent trainings in the past. We have partnered a lot with our Director of Quality and Compliance. We've provided education um, several different ways. You've talked about PAHA. We have a couple of in-services that we have implemented based on coronavirus to educate our staff. We had our spring staff meeting. We covered a couple of different topics, but one of them was coronavirus, what you can do to prevent it, what you should do if you feel you have symptoms of it, um, how to protect yourself, um, the do's and don'ts of just basic 
sanitation, carry hand sanitizer with you. Make sure you're washing your hands. I, I love the way they put it. Make sure you sing your, your, uh, the song Happy Birthday to yourself twice while you're washing your hands with warm water. Yeah. Um, so it's a great <laughs> reminder to our staff on what they need to do. Um, so we also have daily notification that goes out on what's called our Elsevier, um, where we put a lot of our training for corporate compliance. So daily, we have updates going to our staff to keep them in the loop. Can you tell me if Concordia Private Care is utilizing Concordia's telecare giver program at all? And for those of you who do not know what uh, the, this program is, it is uh, a program uh, made up of volunteers who make outbound daily phone calls to individuals who are essentially homebound. And, and right now, uh, there are a lot of homebound individuals. And I didn't know if maybe uh, your, your consumers may be opting for this phone call rather than having in-person visits to their homes daily. Concordia as a whole, not just private care, has utilized that program. We are at our max with volunteers, mm -hmm. um, and they are painstakingly taking time to call out to people as much as they can to check on them during this time. I think it's really important um, as a service that we provide just to ensure that they're still healthy, number one. If they do have concerns, we have the ability to field those concerns and questions. Coronavirus is still something that's very unknown and there's a lot of questions around it. So this service has really provided an outlet to not only check on somebody, to even calm the nerves. How have you and your team of coordinators supported your team uh, recently? I know, you know, keeping morale up in trying times like this must be difficult. Is there anything special that you guys are doing? keeping them informed is number one. We do our best. There's a lot of questions that we don't have answers to, but we try to get them as quickly as possible for them. I can't thank them enough for what they do. I, I, I send out uh, weekly and almost daily communication to them, thanking them, but I don't think that that's ever really going to be enough. Concordia has formulated some incentives, which I am most appreciative um, for them because they do go out every single day. They go out in all kinds of situations, not just coronavirus, but they also go out in all kinds of weather, um, in all kinds of situations, and help provide care in the community. So there is no amount of thank you that I can give them that I think is enough, um, but we, we do try to do what we can for them. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. I, I really appreciate it. And um, also thank you for everything that you're doing. Please pass along that sentiment to your team of frontline employees who are all outstanding. And we are so very grateful to have them on our team. Thank you all so much.